All right, we have a briefing that is taking place by Syed Akbaruddin on the SARC summit. Let's cut across. The Prime Minister has made it very clear that we should uh, focus on electricity trade as commodity trade. That it's normal for uh, power trading organizations or power producing organizations to work uh, further on this. So as far as we are concerned, where we can share uh, electricity as a commodity, we will share. Uh, we have doing that. Uh, we are doing that with several of our neighbors, mm -hmm. and both ways. From Bhutan, we import electricity. From uh, to Nepal and Bangladesh, we are exporting electricity. So let us treat this as an ordinary commodity that is available. Oh, your first question. I generally, I don't answer the questions. पहला सवाल ये था कि ऐसी खबरें आ रही हैं कि पाकिस्तान के प्रधानमंत्री नवाज शरीफ ने अफसोस जताया है आज रिट्रीट के बाद कि वो भारत के प्रधानमंत्री से बातचीत नहीं कर पाए। मुझे नहीं पता ये। As you have seen, after the retreat, first of all, in the retreat, the atmosphere was very convivial. All the leaders were extremely comfortable with each other. They spent a lot of time together, and when the Prime Minister of India and the Prime Minister of Pakistan first came across each other, uh, they did exchange greetings and uh, pleasant courtesies were extended. As after that, you are aware, for all of you, uh, there was an open display of both the Prime Minister of India and the Prime Minister of Pakistan uh, uh, shaking hands in public. So I do not know what you are saying. We go back very satisfied with the outcome of this summit. Uh, also. SAC is not only about India and Pakistan. It is about all our neighbors in South Asia. And that is the goal with which we came to uh, Kathmandu. And that is the goal we fulfilled. Yes, Subhijit? Were there any... Yes, Subhijit. Were there any substantive discussions between Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Sharif? I think we've been telling you repeatedly that there were no plans for any substantive and uh, structured discussions. And we've been telling this to you for the last week, and this is what exactly happened. Yes, Gaurav. Will this lead to uh, talks between India and Pakistan, or do we want something before we resume talks with Pakistan? Uh, at different levels. Gaurav, let me make it clear once again. India is for peaceful and cooperative relations with Pakistan. We are interested in meaningful dialogue. If this interaction today or this shake hand leads to that, we would welcome that. However, the emphasis is on meaningful dialogue. And for your convenience, yes, sir. The exit to the left down the hall. Sir, क्या आप मानते हैं कि पाकिस्तान की ओर से कोई ऐसा जश्न सामने आया है, कोई ऐसी पहल हुई है जो पॉजिटिव हो दोनों देशों के रिश्तों के लिए जिससे कि आगे बातें हो सकें, कोई ऐसा जश्न आपको लगा है इन दो इन दो दिनों के बीच में पाकिस्तान की ओर से? देखिए जो भी जश्न थे पब्लिक में हुए हैं Yes, Charu. Uh, you mentioned that uh, you know we that while they exchange courtesies and uh, greeted each other, uh, in the long run, what we're looking for is a meaningful dialogue. What are some of the things that would make it possibly meaningful? What are we expecting before we can actually expect some sort of meaningful dialogue? You know, as diplomats, we are translucent, and our interlocutors understand very clearly what we mean when we say certain terms. And I'm certain you too understand that. Yes, Prashant. Oh, when the two leaders were together in a group, did, and we I understand that there was no meaningful structured dialogue on bilateral issues. Did they talk about SARC? Was there a bit of to and fro on issues related to the region? Uh, look, uh, the leaders when they were meeting, there was nobody else. The best that we could get was photos. We have shared those photos with you. There is nobody else who knows what the leaders talked of. Uh, by our understanding, they have discussed various SARC matters, including the energy uh, agreement, which was an outcome of the discussions of all the SARC leaders. But what specifically they spoke at what juncture, I am 
not privy to that. Neither is anybody else except for the leaders themselves, because this was a leader's only uh, group which was interacting among themselves. The yes. Akbar, did any, any country formally uh, raise the issue uh, with India about induction of China and SARC? Did it come up formally? Um, I don't know uh, what to say of this. I yesterday used the term and I'll use it again for another thing. But it looks like every day we clarify to you there is no proposal for expansion of the membership of SARC. The proposal that was on the table was um, perhaps to consider the um, uh, observers as dialogue partners. Now the programming committee subsequently has discussed this. They are working on ways that the current observers can engage in development cooperation because SARC is all about development. Um, so. Uh, the best way to enhance uh, the role of observers in a tangible manner for SARC states would be to enhance their uh, uh, involvement in development cooperation. And that's where we are moving towards. The um, membership of SARC was not on the table. What was, again, let me repeat, what was on the table was to consider possibilities of uh, dialogue partners but what we have agreed to uh, unanimously is that the programming committee will list out what will be the areas where observers of SARC can participate with SARC countries so that there could be better development cooperation. And that is for the benefit of all SARC members, it's not limited to one observer or the other. Yes, sir.